And welcome back, Bobcat Nation. SKS here with another episode in the Texas State Bobcats Dynasty. Last time we left off, we we lost our second straight. We lost both games because our defense just did not play. Um, I would like to use the excuse that Coach Conquest is still reloading, but one of those losses was against the three and seven team. So I don't know. We've got two more games left in the season. If we lose both of these, we'll be 6-6 six and six and probably not make a bowl game. Flip side is, if we go 7-5 and five by splitting these games, we may not make a bowl game. Heck, at this point, even if we won both of these and went 8-4, and four, I can't guarantee that we would make a bowl game. But we can only go one game at a time. And that takes us to the next game against University of Louisiana Monroe. They're 4-6. and six. We desperately need a win. Just wanted to show that Tom Sutton is 80 yards behind the leading rusher in the country who plays for Colorado State, I think that is. I do like the statement this week on this, bringing the passion. Can the Bobcats come away with a victory at the University of Louisiana Monroe? We do need passion if we're going to do that. Well, this is kind of a shocker. I know that we were pretty bad last year, but I thought we were better than the Warhawks, but evidently not. And with us being on the road, this is our fourth game in the on the road. <sighs> their kicker is their best player on the team. This just doesn't make sense. Their quarterback is probable, and their center went to Seattle. Wow. Wow, they're fired up around the cooler, though. They must want this. They know they got to play for it. Our guys are kind of relaxing right now. I don't know if I like that. There's a little DeAndre Fountain action earlier. Arkansas State and Lafayette lead the conference. We are tied for third with Louisiana Monroe. So we're at Malone Stadium. Finally, a stadium with a different name. We are playing the University of Louisiana Monroe. I like their little sports complex back there. That's nice. We lost a coin toss, so here we go. Roberson is back. Let's see if we can get a couple. Oh, we got one little block. Oh, he got around there, and he'll get up to about the 40. Nice run back. Here comes Tom Sutton. He was beat up a little bit. I went and wore the all-whites for today's game to try to get us pumped up. So first and 10 here. First play, we got Stuart Dixon and Roberson out there. Booker in at tight end. I wore the all-whites jerseys to kind of clear our conscience, to purify us of everything. Sutton will come through. He'll get two. Not a really big rush to start the game, but maybe he's just getting warmed up. Roberson makes the catch there, and that's going to be a first down for 11 yards. So good pass there from Horn to start the game. Here's the next play. Oh, Sutton. Sutton will go through. He'll get three. Looked like he, the handoff was on the wrong side. He had the reverse direction. Second and seven here. Booker will go in motion. They're, they're really putting a lot on the line. Sutton will try to get through. He'll get the first down seven yards. Nice run there. First and 10 here. Oh, and he'll hit Roberson. Roberson. Oh, he gets one block. Roberson bounces off a guy. He's still going, and he'll get up inside the 15. Matthew Roberson there. Nice catch. Horn hit him on the run. Horn takes the hit, but Roberson will make the catch. He's out of Beaumont, Texas, and he'll go off one tackle, spin off another one, and pick up the extra yardage. Nice job there. Oh, he's, he's pumped up a little bit. They want this. Stewart, Kennery, and Dixon out there. The handoff. Oh, there was a good block there, but Sutton will get wrapped up. Good lead block. Uh-oh. Okay. He didn't move there for a minute. I was a little worried. Second and nine here. Horn will hit Kennery, and... Oh, they called it incomplete. Third and nine here. Big block. Sutton will get drugged down, and he will not get the first down. And that is going to bring up a big decision here. And Sands will indeed come out. The field goal is good, and Texas State will take the lead. Three to nothing here with 523 left in the first. So I don't know if Conquest is playing conservative. 
Kick off here. It's going to go deep in end zone. They didn't have anybody over there, but Vaughn will kneel, and they'll come out to the 20. All right, let's see if our defense can hold on here. First to 10, first drive of the game for the Warhawks. Off the screen. Jensen. Oh, Jensen got destroyed over there. Parker. Oh, my God. Thank God he ran out of bounds. 19 yards. They are a hurry-up offense. Joy. Tight end goes in motion to the right. Oh, we were all over him, and he'll still get through. The All-American Humphrey will make the tackle, though. Three up to the left. Come on, Stan. Oh, my God. Stanley, you are so useless. Landon Green picks up 20 more. What kind of throw was that? He was, like, falling down and just side-armed it. Okay, we got a guy to him, but he still gets the ball off. And they're going to shoot the first down again. Where is our defense? Fill this gap in the middle. Pretty sure we just jumped. Oh, I went by the movement. Nice. First and goal here. Get him, Jensen. Jensen will bring him down. Only a one-yard gain by Pennington there. We've got guys back here. Get him! And Edwards on him! Good job, Ronnie Edwards out of Corsicana, Texas. Three-yard loss. Third and goal here. Oh, he was all over him. Nice move there. Okay, they got three wide receivers out there. We've kind of loosened the lineup a little bit, trying to play the pass. Oh my God, Randy Booth, what were you doing back there? Randy Booth got turned around, but hit the dude in the numbers and he didn't come through. The Warhawks come out here on fourth and goal, trying to tie the game up and they will. We got lucky there, very lucky. Fountain's gonna bring this one out. Oh, he got up there, but he'll get crushed. 29-yard return, though. Stewart will make... Oh, Stewart got off one, but he'll get brought down. Eight-yard gain on that. Second and two here. Sutton will get brought down. He'll lose a yard. I feel like the closer he gets to graduation, the slower he's getting. Third and a long three here. Hand off. Sutton will not get there. Fourth and one here. And it is a fake run and Brown, Cortez Brown, the fullback is gonna get there. They fake the punt and they get one yard, which is all they needed. First and 10 here after the trick play. Oh God. Robertson makes the catch. He's in there for the touchdown. Matthew Robertson, 65 yards. I know Justin Horn took a hit on that one. Delivers the pass. Got it over top of him somehow. Oh, my God. He got obliterated. And Texas State is going to go up. Robertson gets through the tackle. Bad coverage there. And he's in for six. Much needed touchdown. Sands will come out and give them the seven point lead. Conquest very excited about that. Sands kicks it deep here. He's really playing that win and Vaughn will nil once again. All right, let's see if our defense can hold now. We got a lead. Wide open. Are you serious? 39 yards. It's supposed to be man coverage. That was not man coverage. I love asking if our defense can hold when we already know the answer. Good wrap up there. Pennington only gets one yard. Oh, good luck. Get him, Hughes. There we go. Hughes got to, he got his legs taken out from him, but gets up and makes the play. All right, third and nine here. We need a good chance for a stop. Regular, 
Parker gets beat. 36 yard touchdown reception. Quentin Wilson throws it there. And the Warhawks are about to tie it right back up. Extra point is good. 10 10 here in the first. A back and forth game if I've ever seen one. Like Fountain's going to take this one. And he'll get brought down around the 25. 10-10 game here. Handoff. Sutton will go through and get about four. Second and six. This is not the play that I called, so I guess we're going to run with it. We'll hit Booker. Booker will get four. Called a run play, but it ran that. Coach Conquest is evolving. Third and long two here. Roberson Stewart out there. Booker and Cummings in for tight end. It's a handoff. Sutton will get the first down, so no fourth down shenanigans needed. They're loading up that right side. We're going this way. Oh my god, his blocker didn't follow. Why did the blocker go that way? He could have blocked that guy. Sutton would have been down the field. That should bring us to the end of the first quarter. The end of the first quarter, it has been action-packed action thus far. 10-10, the Warhawks and Bobcats going back and forth. They're going to five here, start of the second. Sutton's wide open out there. He'll throw one down, he'll get 11 yards on the pass. A little out route, or not an out route, the little flat route. Second and five here. Play action pass. Oh, and he'll hit Booker. What a throw by Horn. 19 yards by Kyle Booker. That was amazing. That was poetry in motion there. We know Booker can make the catch, but sometimes Horn, oh, he got the little block there to help him out. I feel like these white uniforms make us faster. And off. Uh oh, good block there. He's got a lead block. Oh, he trips him up. Sutton was almost to the gap. Six yard run there. Third and four here. Oh, he'll hit Robertson on the run, and that's going to be a first down. Nice play, making something out of nothing there because there was nothing open. Three bunched up on the left here. Goes in motion. Oh, it's a handoff. Sutton will get one yard on the fake end around. Uh oh, so Sutton looks a little banged up. 551 left here. Jones is out to play halfback. And Jones will get brought down third and six here as we wait news. So bruised ribs for him. He'll be back. Oh, and the throw just wasn't there, and that's going to bring up another fourth down. Probably a field goal attempt. Tom Sutton has a minor injury. You know, we'll bring him back in. We're just going to have to risk it for the biscuit. Field goal attempt is good, and that makes it 13 to 10. I can already hear the comments now. Sands launches this one. He's going to put another one in the end zone. And Vaughn, once again, will just tee back. Empty backfield here. They hit the guy on the edge, and they'll get five. Lots, lots of receivers out there again. Oh, go, go get that ball. Oh, Jensen, you should have had that. Oh, Jensen, come on, man. Empty backfield again. They are pressing. Let's bring these guys in. Wide open. They give him the first down. First to 10 here. Got our, our whole line is standing up. I don't know if we know what we're doing. We come around. Come on, Greco. Good hit there. 35. Who's that? Paul Franklin coming up. All right, we're running a cover four. Let's see what happens. Oh, he dropped it for the eight. We got lucky with two drops on that. 
doing a punt return Zafe because I feel like this is a good spot for them to fake it since we did because the computer likes the rubber band like that. They're going to punt it. Fountain, why did you let that go? Okay. I don't trust them sometimes. So we'll take it at the 20, 416 till half. Sutton back out there. Oh, God, he reversed field. Oh, Sutton. Oh, Sutton, he gets 19 yards. Totally, the play was broken down on the left side, and he goes right and makes that out of nothing. My Lord. First and 10 here. Stewart goes in motion. Stewart, why do, oh, Stewart throws off one guy. Stewart will get up near the 40. Nice throw there. Nice run routing. We had him confused over there. Crossed the two routes, and the two guys left Stewart. He had a chance. Look, they were back there. They followed Dixon. Nice play. First and 10 here. The fake handoff. Oh, good Lord, what is he doing? Horn, he's going for the end zone. Dixon! What a catch! Holy crap, 35 yards by Michael Dixon. Oh, my Lord, he went up for that. The junior wide receiver out of Marshall, Texas. Horn just throws it up there. Dixon comes back for it, makes the catch, three guys around him, and they're going to be first and goal. First and goal here. And Sutton will get in there, and there's a touchdown, and Texas State increases their lead. Good push by the line there. Tom Sutton continues to set records for the Texas State Bobcats this season. And Sands with an extra point, and that makes it a 10-point game here in Malone Stadium. If Sands gets it to the end zone here, I'll be, I was going to say, the wind is the other way this quarter, so. Oh, good Lord, Sands will have to come up and just plow Brian Vaughn. Big run back there. Three receivers out there to the right, Hodges to the left. Oh, Humphrey, why did you get beat? Booze will have to make the catch, but it's 18 yards first down there. Well, we want him. Come on, Booze, light him up. 13 yards, another first down. Come on, Stanley, get him. Oh, Oh my God, our all Amer or no, that was Stanley, and what am I thinking? Of course Stanley's not gonna make that catch, or that tackle. It's ridiculous of me to think that. Oh, it was a screenplay, but he did not get it off. He sacked for 10 yards. We brought the house. It was a good guess on our part. I think Jensen got him there. Let's try to go back to some man coverage again. Oh no. Jensen. Jensen pulls him down. Fourth and six. Let's call a timeout. All right, so a chance here for them to cut it to seven. And they will, but we'll get the ball back in a minute 42, chance to score. Want to increase that lead. Oh, and Fountain, he almost turned the corner, 32 yards. Tom Sutton, he's kind of pacing himself today. First and 10 here, minute 37. Robertson is wide open. He'll pick up 19. Let's see if we can get everybody up on the line real quick. This play is designed for Booker. Let's see if he can get open. And he does. First down. Moving the chains. Clock should stop momentarily. Third and 11 here. Sutton's out there. Oh, come on. What was the block? We needed one block. As much as I'd love to go for this, I just don't think we've got the distance with the wind at our back. 
Oh my God. Cummings makes the catch, but we're not going to get there because I, oh. And we go to halftime. Texas State leads 20 to 13 over the University of Louisiana Monroe. Oh, that was such a wasted opportunity. Sands kicks off here in the second half. Puts it way deep in the end zone. Vaughn definitely won't bring this one out. Just to give you all some kind of reasoning for that last mess up. I didn't think we were going to get through. Oh, pulled him out of bounds. Thomas Murphy ripped down four yard catch. But I, I really just didn't think we would get a playoff like that. And I didn't think we could do the field goal and I totally just screwed up. Pulls him down. Greco on the tackle. Nice job, Jason Greco. Third and six. Third and six here. Let's see if we can stop him. I'm totally running it in the... Come on, get him. Get him, Jensen. Yes, we pull him down. One yard loss. We just demolish that quarterback. Should have been a flag. Look at this. <laughs> he had the ball off and we go for the hip. Good defense to start the second half, though. Jensen was over there. I know some of you have been talking about how the computer has been acting wonky here lately. I was running the dollar defense there to try to stop them. All right, Fountain, don't let this one bounce. Oh, Fountain kills a man, and he'll get up to the 45. Only 10 yards, but he made one guy pay for it. Block the block. Oh, come on, roll out of that. Sutton only gets five. It's going to be third and the short five. Third and five here, 623 left in the third. Oh, nice, Dixon. Dixon, the little speedster, runs the quick slant, and they'll get the first down. Cheerleaders, super excited. They're glad they made the trip over here to Louisiana. First and 10 here. Oh, my God, they left Cummings wide open. We never go to Cummings, but they just left him. Had to go for the throw. Don't look now, everybody, but Justin Horn is approaching 300 yards passing. Sutton, he'll pick up four. Second and six here. Austin will reach out. Oh, he dropped it. Oh. A seven point game, you don't want to drop those. I go to short route. Cummings again. Cummings goes through three people and gets the first down. Emmanuel Cummings. Oh my lord. We're used to calling Booker's name, but Cummings. My lord. Cummings goes in motion here. The other senior tight end. Oh, Sutton. Sutton. Oh my god. It's like they forgot to tackle him, and he'll pick up seven on that. Second and three here. Oh, and it's picked off in the end zone. And it will be down. Austin outmaneuvered, intercepted. And Texas State fails to take advantage. So what happens when I start bragging about Justin Horn having a good game? Come on, Boof. Greco, good job. Three-yard game by Winston there, but that could have been a lot worse. He's not as fast as Keith was last week. Inch Franklin in here on the edge. Oh, they're bringing the tight end over. Oh, get the... Are you kidding me? Ball comes across. The flex behind him. Doesn't see it. Bounces off his back. He knows to turn around. Oh, here's what I wanted and he'll get the first down. Second and 10 here. Oh, 
Another first down. My teams just cannot defend underneath. What was this nonsense? Oh, he fumbled it! And of course he picks it. Did they give him the first down on the fumble? No. But he'll make the catch, fumbles it, gets another two yards off the fumble. Second and one. Good tackle there, no gain. Third and one. Murphy is not covered right now. They jump? Oh my god, they're so bad. They could have they had a wide open dude. Still third down. Alright, coverage on everybody here. Third and six. I'm not even going to say anything. He did a 360 no scope throw there to hit the wide open guy. And I had two guys drop back. Third and seven. Oh, what a hit. Who was that? Randy Booth. No, Russ Parker. Oh, no, they're congratulating Booth. So, fourth and seven. We forced the field goal here. And we can keep a lead. And they will make it. So 20 to 16, a four point lead still for the Bobcats here in this close conference matchup. Anything can happen. We still got a quarter and a half to go. Fountain? Fountain, what are you doing? Okay, Fountain's got it. Whoop! Ooh. Fountain did some nice moves, but he'll get stopped there. I think that was the kicker. Take it at 10. Oh my god, there's so much daylight. Get him a block! He outrun his block, Sutton gets 43 yards on the pass. Oh my lord. His linemen were too fat to keep up, and he had to outrun them, but one could have went over there and made a block on 43 there, and I think he would have scored, but what a play there. Nice call by Conquest. Sutton's pumped up. First to 10 here. Booker, Booker makes the catch and he'll get the first down. And that puts him closer to the goal line. I'll be honest, this is a play more out of Jones's playbook, but we're gonna try to see if Sutton can run it here. We'll toss. Oh my God, he got the block and Sutton. Uh -huh. They don't give it to him. See, the computer gets it every time they're on the line. We hit the line, nope. And as everything that happens, since Sutton's tired, Jones is going to come in, and Jones will get the touchdown. A zero-yard run. That touchdown should have been Tom Sutton's. I'm not going to argue with it, because we need a win in the conference right now, so so be it. Sands puts it through right down the middle. 27-16. Bobcats lead by 11. Bobcats really trying to play. They want that bowl game. They want those jerseys with the patch. Vaughn will nail down. All right, I'm going to go back to my principles. Let's run our 4-3 stack. Oh, nice hit by Jensen there. He just bulldozed him. Second and 10 here. Oh, we got through. Nice sack. Oh, it's a fumble. Get the ball. Oh, we couldn't get off our blocks to get the ball. Who come through and got the sack there? I didn't see. Was it Hughes? Jermaine Hughes? The freshman comes through, knocks it loose. Nobody even knew except the ref. God, he's going to be amazing in a couple of years. Previous play is under review. What? What are they reviewing? Oh. The ground can cut, not cut. I feel like it changed that. You all can rewind the video and check, but I feel like when it first showed it. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. I feel like it changed the animation for the replay. The funny part about that though is nothing changed. It's still third and 19. Oh, 
he's wide open. Are you shitting me? How's he wide open? I put a ton of defensive backs out there to cover them. I'm gonna stick with all these defensive backs and see if we can keep them. Where is everybody? I had like four on that side of the field. That is bull crap. That is such bull crap. Into the third quarter, 27-16, Monroe Warhawks pushing down the field, trying to bring it close. I am so bitter about that last play. I put so many people on that side of the field purposely for that. And he'll run over Humphrey. I love when a quarterback just runs over an all-American linebacker. There's just something refreshing about that. Get him, get him, Ward. Oh, get the ball. Yes, Jensen jumps on it. What a play by Daniel Ward. Holy crap. Oh, that was amazing. Daniel Ward rips it out. The senior linebacker from Arlington, Texas, or Angleton, excuse me. Second and 12 here. Oh, Horn gets tripped up and he'll lose four more. He was almost around, almost around to throw that. That dude had a good burst of speed there. Oh, look, he was great. I knew that was going to happen. We just didn't have enough time for it to develop. I think they got this defended, but we're going to try it anyway. Okay, maybe they don't get the block. Oh my God, Tom Sutton down the field. He's to the 40. Tom Sutton juking ah! out of his mind. He gets down to the 30. Pass yards a game record. Is that Horn? Holy crap, what a screen pass. Horn gets brought down. Oh, that's a late hit. But Tom Sutton gets the blocks and that could solidify the game right there. What a run, what a jump. Oh my God, he embarrassed that dude. He looked like me tackling on that one. Oh, they got three men on the line. They're running like a 3-3. And Sutton's going to go right up the middle, get the first down. And he's over 100 yards. That screenplay, barring no fumbles or anything, could have been the best play call. Oh, look at this. Oh, Darnell Jones! And he doesn't get in. Darnell Jones, did you see the elusive moves of him? Takes it up to the goal line. Look at, he's quick, everybody. He's quick. Okay, if Sutton gets in here, this is fitting since uh, Jones took one of his touchdowns earlier. And Sutton will not get in. Oh, come on, game. But that's okay, we're wasting more clock. Okay, they've only put three up on the line here, so Sutton should be able to get in. Yeah. There we go. Tom Sutton, second touchdown of the day. He's got 105 yards. That probably puts the game out of reach. I may actually pull the starters on offense. Sands will add the point, 34-16. We'll see how well the defense does here. But if we, if we get the offense back, I think I'll sub in because I don't want any injuries going into that last game. Come on. Oh, my God. His own guy tackled him. Now we're going to run the 4-3 again. Oh, come down with it, Parker. The senior. Do you know how many interceptions he's dropped this year? We know they're not going to back down. 31 here. 336. Oh, Ward come around and he'll hold him and it's fourth and one. So I'm going to guess they're going to go for it. Good tackle there by Daniel Ward. I'm going to come out here and run some goal line defense on. Let's see what happens. Oh, we stopped him. Holy crap, they ran right into it. No gain and that's going to, that's, we're bringing in the reserves. So under a minute to go now, Larson goes in motion. And Jones is hit. Jones pushing, and Jones gets in there. 
And Darnell Jones, the junior, gets his second touchdown of the day, and he earned that one. He earned that touchdown. He took a lot of hits on that drive, and he still gets in. That's the final score. We needed that. I needed to see that win a game pop up there. Tom Sutton, 219 yards, two touchdowns, no turnovers today. There's Coach Conquest out there. He's congratulating Horn. Horn bouncing back. Tom Sutton, your player of the game, 105 yards, 114 yards through the air. The Warhawks will have to regroup and try to come back next week. So final score, 41 to 16. Some plays today that I didn't expect. There's one of them right there, hitting him on the bomb, and then Roberson just blown that tackle up and scored. It didn't set the tone for the day by no means, but it was just because they come right back here, and you can see, but just an amazing back and forth game, and then we just pulled away and showed we were the stronger team. The final score, Texas State Bobcats 41, Monroe Warhawks 16. Check out the player stats. Justin Horn, the sophomore quarterback, 197.9 rating, 21 for 29, 418 yards. I think he set a record. One touchdown, one interception, 72%. His longest, that 65-yard bomb in the first quarter. Rushing, Tom Sutton, the man, the machine, 24 attempts, 105 yards, two touchdowns. Darnell Jones, a great day coming in, eight attempts for 55 yards, and he had two touchdowns as well. Robertson and Tom Sutton over 100 yards on six and four receptions. Robertson had that one touchdown. Tom Sutton had 125 yards after catch. Wow. Booker, Cummings, and Dixon all near the 50 mark, and Stewart two for 29. Jensen, seven solo tackles, Booth with six. Jermaine Hughes and Marcus Jensen had sacks. They put these as pass deflections, but some of these are dropped interceptions. Ward and Jensen both forced fumbles today. Jensen did recover one. We did not punt today. It's plain. It's simple. Bobcats improved to 7-4. and four. Bobcats win 41-16 against the University of Louisiana Monroe. Of course you won. You had a game plan and stuck with it. I love that our prestige is B. All right, I'm going to go ahead and advance the week to see where we're at. This will also show if uh, I think we broke some records in that game. So I wanted to start out by coming to the conference standings before we check the records because I wanted to see the shakeup. The top three teams in this league, and look at Idaho down there, everybody. I saw some people feeling bad for them. They picked up some wins this year, two in the conference. But we are probably going to finish, well, no, we could finish second in the league or in the conference. What I'm trying to get at here is I'm seeing something in the Sun Belt Conference I've never seen before. Our last game of the season is a home game against Arkansas State. They are ranked 22nd in the country. So our final game, which may determine bowl, bowl game status, is we are playing the 22nd ranked team in the country. Now with that said, remember we've already lost the University of Louisiana Lafayette. They are ranked 18th in the country. So yeah, Troy was our fluke game. But Lafayette, the Raisin Cajuns, are the real deal. They're in the top 25, and now we're going to face another top 25 team in Arkansas State. And Arkansas State lost 0-30 to against the 18th-ranked Raisin Cajuns. So they got me wondering what the top 25 actually looks like and how messed up it is. Ohio State, Wisconsin, Alabama, Texas A&M, Notre Dame. Eh, nothing. I think Texas a and is the oddity, but they've been good in this season. South Carolina, Texas, West Virginia, West Virginia Tech and Oklahoma round out the top 10. So some pretty stable, normal people. San Diego State is 15th. Okay, that's, that's different. The Raging Cajuns, 18th. Kentucky is not. What? Look at overall 90. Arkansas, Arizona, Arkansas State. Arkansas representing in the top 25. Connecticut and Colorado State. They had that guy that is leading the country in rushing. And then Navy. Interesting. Top 25. So here's something sad that I just realized. And I feel really, really bad about it. Justin Horn had 418 yards last week. If we go to the records, the record of passing yards in a game is 418 yards. Therefore, since he tied it and he didn't defeat it, his name does not get listed on this. If I knew that, 
I would have let him throw one more play just to pass it, but I didn't. So I wish it wouldn't give you the alert if you tie it, but you know, it's a game that's pretty old, so we can't. All right, so the last thing I'll look at is our bowl projection, and they have us against the 6-6 six and six Florida International University in the Beef O'Brady's Bowl. I bartended at a Beef O'Brady's. Interesting. Not the one in St. Petersburg where this game is at, but that is a 12-21 game at 7.30, so we would be prime time. But we've still got one more game left in the season. we got to go against a ranked team. So that's where I'm going to end the video here. I hope you all liked this video. Uh, make sure you smash that like button. Leave me some comments down below. I love to hear all of the uh, chit chat about the Bobcats dynasty. And as always, thanks for watching. God bless. Make good decisions. And I will see you all next week when we take on the 22nd ranked Arkansas State Sunbelt second place team. Good night, everybody.